oh, he did it to me again. You know, when he always puts the mic in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I got her. I got her. Yeah, I, I'm lucky I have a very forgiving <laughs> wife who just laughs things off. Absolutely. So, guys, we have two comets, two new comets. Isn't that exciting? And a rare Trojan asteroid. What the heck? Yeah, a Trojan asteroid orbiting the Earth, discovered by astronomers within three weeks. So, oh, wait till you see this one. I mean, we got so much stuff going on over our heads. Pretty neat, too. I want to share with you guys, um, just as we were going to do this video, like she's been noticing uh, that there's, well, I mean, it's, not like an obelisk. You said it's more like... Um, a block. It's kind of shaped like a Jenga block, but it's black. And it starts to develop, and it's it's like right by our computer. Um, and it's it starts to develop as soon as we go to do a video. And I just did a banishing ritual on it using the uh, energy of the archangels, and it dissolved and went away. And it's so cool to have such a psychic wife that can actually see that i mean a lot of times we'll hear it we'll we'll know it you know we'll get issues the computer will block out and mm -hmm. things like that yeah. you know or the sound will go all wonky well yeah this last time the only reason it's weird the only reason we knew it is because when i did the tuning the whole uh, microphone kind of shook so i looked in that area and then i saw that block but otherwise that was a difficult one to spot yeah, I was trying to figure out what that was because I, uh, there's a speaker on top of a woofer and the speaker started to shake and I thought, well, is Zeke or Sassy underneath, you know, what we're using for a desk, which is just kind of like a folding table. <laughs> <laughs> and no, they weren't there. Nothing bumped it. I don't know why the speaker almost fell over, but that's why. Yep, it's pretty crazy. It's a wild reality, and it, I just can't wait till more and more people can see all these things, know all these things. So yeah, we we have C twenty twenty one A one, which is Comet Leonard, and then we have C twenty one twenty twenty one B three Neowise, and finally asteroid twenty twenty XL five. So y it's going to be an interesting year, and uh, Comet A one Leonard in December might be uh, visible to the naked eye. It has excellent brightness prospects for December 2021. And yeah, it's going to be coming by pretty close. Uh, in fact, before the perihelion on January 3rd, 2022, at a distance of 0.6 AU, astronomical unit, the comet will pass just 0.233 AU from Earth on December 12th, 2021, and they'll have an exceptionally close pass of Venus at 0 0.028 AU on December 18th. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Um, what about the astrological impacts of a comet so close to Venus, you yeah. I know, it's got to do something because all of these energies have an influence and the waves you know, they go toward beings and toward the planet. So there's going to be definitely some noticing there, whoever's on Venus and <laughs> the planet itself. Yeah, because, you know, an astronomical unit, it's a distance from the Earth uh, to the sun, which is basically 92 million miles thereabout. Uh, so this, these, this is going to be coming pretty close. This is going to be an interesting one. You know, and every time I see a comet that might be visible to the naked eye, I automatically think of Nostradamus' mm -hmm. famous quatrain of when the comet shall run. Yes, me too. Just interesting stuff. And then C2021B3 Neowise. This is another new one. And this one, I don't think the prospects are as good for this one becoming a you know brilliant naked eye uh, comet. But it's still interesting that we have the two. And then we have the Trojan asteroid 2020 XL5. It's the second Trojan asteroid. So why do they call it Trojan? Well, think of Trojan horse. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hidden. Yeah, I was thinking that too. You know, what's up with this? Their asteroids gravitationally lock to stable Lagrange points, either 60 degrees ahead or behind the planets in their orbits around the sun. 2020 XL5 was found around the L4 point. Mass of Jupiter has more than 9,000 Trojans. So we got two. 
and you know it's it's the way that they orbit um that's very interesting we got to keep an eye on it yeah so interesting because this this is giving you a depiction of how it how it orbits it It looks pretty chaotic does it not well it looks like a jelly bean the one yeah it makes me feel like we're going down a tunnel like a wormhole yay yeah so we have some more links i'll give to you guys if you want to go in in depth a little bit more with these um yeah, there's so much going on in the sky. Do you remember the Swedish fireball back on the 7th? Well, they did recover uh, some debris. So that was a meteorite, or at least, again, they're saying it was a meteorite. Yeah. <laughs> there is debris that they found, and they gave a long rumbling sound and looked pretty typical of what we've been seeing, like these. You know, here you see this is in Kansas, a fireball going through the sky. It's interesting how they always do that same thing where they go and brilliantly flash and then and I just still think of Beam Me Up Scotty or, yeah. you know, take us to warp speed. Aye, aye, Captain. Mm-hmm. And dramatic video shows fireball falling from the sky in Derbyshire. Homeowner tells of amazing discovery outside of her house. So this video shows an incredible moment when a fireball was seen falling from the sky in Derbyshire. Shows the fireball suddenly appearing from absolutely nowhere in Whaley Bridge at 5.42 a.m. Exactly a year to the day after one was spotted in Derby. Hmm, interesting, is it not? So this is from a, a CCTV camera. There's been so many of these things, it's just mind-boggling. And I was going to include it with the other Earth change video we did earlier and i thought no there's just too many of these you know let's just break it down a little bit so a mysterious explosion in malaysia shakes homes and residents <laughs> was it what was it fireball on aircraft well there's some photos i know there we go and to me these just feel more like mercabas maybe some are mm-hmm. you know it's kind of like a sonic boom associated with it there's again videos to it um, where you guys could check it out. Mm-hmm. What's your what's your vibe on this one? I'm feeling that's more of a being, and we're having so many come in to help us in this day and age, and they don't just help one person. They help big groups of people. Well, that is very cool. And so did you see this strange cigar-shaped object hovering motionless above California? Yeah, another one of those cigar-shaped ones and just hovering there. There's been a lot of those, too. There's been an awful lot of those, too. So it's a flying cigar, so to speak. Uh, Multiple cases of this, too. What's your vibe on this? Is this mm, maybe a little reptilian-ish? Most definitely that one feels so reptilian-ish, like it's observing. Yes. Yeah, I I get that same vibe. Definitely feels reptilian By the way, Mount St. Helens is rumbling again. So, you know, we'll keep an eye on this for sure. With the warm storm systems going through Washington the past few days, generating lots of snow up high again, Mount St. Helens has shed some avalanches big enough to be well recorded by the seismic monitoring system. It is clear based on the timing and amplitudes that long-lasting surface events took place on the east side of the volcano probably starting up high near the crater rim and traveling down and off the steep part of the mountain, perhaps as far as the tree line. First notable event occurred on February 1st, 2021 at 1054 GMT, lasted about 10 minutes. The second and larger event started at 542 GMT on the third and lasted almost 19 minutes. In both cases, the strongest shaking is within the first few minutes of the event, Probably when the largest mass of snow is moving the fastest on the upper slopes. So they have a seismogram showing that. And, you know, the whole Pacific Plate's still been basically in a slow slip for forever. Uh, For those of you that follow Dutch since, you know, he's been talking about this for years. And, you know, the possibility of something large in Cascadia is is relatively up there. Yeah, so we want to keep an eye on that large sleeping gorilla. And uh, there's a video you could check out of this. This is a tidal wave crashing into cars in Venezuela. A kind of a freak wave. We had a lot of those a few years back. And uh, I was looking through some of the older videos that we have up on uh, Evolutionary. And there was a time when we were talking about like the mysterious um, 
occurrences of the water just disappearing from bays and, and along the beaches. And then you'd have things like this happening on the other side of where the water was. We had events like that in South America and in Africa. Um, I haven't seen too many of them, but we have seen some freak waves uh, recently. And this is a sign of coming times. Snowy owl seen in Central Park, New York after 130 years. A rare spotting of an unpredictable Arctic bird. And actually, I was wondering if we were seeing one something like that yesterday when we were out hiking. Uh, saying, Remember I was saying, I wonder if that's a snowy owl up there. It could, yeah, I mean, I'm wondering, maybe we're getting more and more of these. Well, the times are changing, you know, most definitely. And um, for those that do believe we're heading into a grand solar minimum induced mini ice age, could be just another sign of the times. Could be. So before we leave, we're going to do a tuning as we're going to try to keep helping. It's amazing. We get emails all the time from you guys and comments on the videos saying, she did that and then something good happened. <laughs> well, you know, it's just like something went away, an ache, a pain yeah. or something. Well, it removes blocks for sure. Yes. So here's Cindy. Here we go. leave you with a little positive affirmation or prayer. May you guys all be blessed with abundant peace, love, happiness, wellness. May you be protected in these times and always guided from above. God bless, guys, and namaste. Namaste.